Hey there friends, welcome to a House Flipper 2 Sandbox Mode tutorial. If you're like me and you've been struggling with the mechanics of Sandbox Mode and trying to figure it out, or maybe you've just been too intimidated to get started, I hope this tutorial will help walk you through a little more seamlessly than what I had to struggle with and get you on the way to building these amazing dream homes and really flesh out your creativity. So let's go get started. First things first, you're gonna need a new property. So you're gonna click over here. Let's name this tutorial. You've got a couple of different environments. Pick one that suits you. And uh, we're gonna do small for the size, you know, for, the, for this tutorial, nothing too big. <laughs> and uh, click create. So here we are, lovely little forest setting. Um, first thing you want to kind of become aware of and how do you access all of your tools because you're going to have, if you're just starting it for the very first time, your toolbar up there is going to be empty. Right click on your mouse and it will access all of your tools. Um, most some of these look familiar to what you used in the career mode and some of them are new. We're not going to get into all of them today. Um, to be frank, I don't know how to use some of them. <laughs> so I'm going to figure that out and come back for you. Uh, the way you put them in your toolbar is you just click and you drag and drop into whichever corresponding number. And then on your keyboard, you can just ease, you know, access any of them easily by pressing this corresponding number in your, uh, on your keyboard in your hot, hot bar. All right. So we're going to get to building. First thing you're going to want to do is select your build walls tool. I know. Uh, we got to build a foundation first, but this serves for all manner of purposes. Um, what you're going to, if you see the little like highlighted box on the ground there in the center of the screen, that's basically your cursor. Um, and that's where you're going to start. Um, so I'm just going to eyeball it and we're going to do, let's see, um, let's do something 14 long. So you'll see the little green number there in the parentheses. That's the, the, the length in feet. Uh, I have it on imperial, but you can put it in uh, meters or centimeters. And the 21, I think, is how many cubes it is. So you've left click to start. Now you've dragged it to the length that you want it to be. Left click again, but you're not done. You're going to drag it to how long you want your foundation to be. I'm just going to do 10 feet. And then you click again. Uh, left click again. And there's your floor. All right, same principle applies for walls. You're gonna left click, you're gonna drag, and then you're going to left click again and then drag it up to how tall you want it to be. In this case, I'm gonna do a standard eight foot ceiling. Come around here, whoops, redo. That's another thing on your keyboard. Y redoes something that you've undone and Z undoes something you didn't want. Um, if you look in the settings, you can see the key bindings, but just for ease. So left click, drag, click, and then left click again. Or keep hitting the wrong key. Don't do that yourself. <laughs> or do it because it's probably going to happen. Uh, left click, left click, and then drag it up and left click again. All right, let's complete this little box we've got started here. And there you have it, a box. Okay, if you wanna get more of a bird's eye view, another a little hot tip there is to double click the space bar, double tap it, I, I should say, and that'll put you in what's called fly mode. Again, you just use the WASD or the arrow keys to move yourself around. That little white dot that you see moving around the center of your screen, that is where you wanna point that to where you wanna go. If you're pointing down, you're gonna go to the ground. If you point up, you're gonna go up. Uh, it took me significantly longer than it should have to figure that out. And that may seem like completely, yeah, uh, obvious to some people, but in case it doesn't to you, that's how you do that. All right, let's talk roofs. All right, so you're gonna access the roof tool. And if you'll notice in the bottom right-hand corner, you've got different types of roofs. You've got the hip roof, you've got a gable roof, a half hip, and a sloped roof. I'm gonna make a kind of a modern style building. So we're gonna do sloped, and we're gonna um, take the little cursor here and just start back here and click. And then I'm gonna use the click wheel on my mouse and rotate it so that the 
back slope is going this direction. Now, before you freak out and like, oh, wow, that's a lot. Give me just a second. So you're going to drag it and you don't really have to be that precise because I'm about to show you what you can do to go back to making it more perfect. So you're going to left click and you've created your roof and you're like, wow, that slope is way too much. How do we change that? You're going to access your architect tool and you're going to uh, hit R and then you're going to do change style and then you're going to click on your roof. Now here you can change how the texture of, of the roof. I'm going to go for kind of a corrugated metal. Um, you can also change it here to be any of these others. We're going to keep it sloped and here is the roof pitch. And right now it's very pitched. Um, let's take it down to two so that it's not quite so severe. And there you go. You've got kind of this modern roof. Um, so we fixed that, but then look at this. I went all the way over here. Ugh, that's a mess. How do you get that, you know, how do you change that? Well, one way is you can select your hand tool um, and you can click on the item and you can move it around, but I wouldn't recommend that. I think the best way is to access your transform tool and then hit Q and do a resize. You can, you know, uh, change these settings and maybe they'll, um, you know, uh, work better for you. If you want your roof to clip into other things, you know, things like that. That's what that is all for. I, I believe that's kind of what I've been led to, you know, that's the conclusion I've come to. So you just grab these little arrows and you pull. I mean, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I kept seeing people do this, but I didn't realize which tool they had been using. And uh, now I know, and I'm like, ugh, it seems so simple. So you can pull it out so that you have a little bit of a porch, a covering here. And then you right click to cancel out on that. Now don't worry, we're gonna change some things in style and color. <laughs> We'll get there in just a second. Um, but that's the roof. Uh, obviously, you can do a pitched roof or anything like that, and it will, you know, the same principle applies. But the transform tool can resize it. Um, and if, because if you don't want to get too precise with that, you can just make it and then come back later and do more fine tuning just like I did. Okay, so we've got our basic structure, we've got a roof, but if you'll notice, there's a bit of a gap here. Uh, how do we get rid of that? All right, once again, you're going to hit your build tool. And you're going to find exactly where you want to put your cursor. I believe it's there. And you're going to do the same principle as before. You're going to just drag it back into um, the building. If the pitch is higher, if the slope pitch is higher, you might have to do something where... Oops, we want to undo that where you're gonna clip into the roof a little bit more. And if that happens, just like this for pur our purpose here, <laughs> you're, going to, you're going to access your remove wall tool and you're gonna put your cursor, it's outlined in red. You're gonna left click on it and you're going to select as much of what you can access at this point in time. In the left hand corner, it says um, everything. Or if you hit the letter R just above what's the roof, uh, I would do that so that it limits just how much it's deleting. I'm going to get down here and I'm going to select this, this, and then we're going to select all of this over here. You're going to have to change it to everything if it's under the roof. Delete. And there you have it. Okay, so now we've got a roof, we've got everything filled in. Let's start adding doors and windows. So to access all of the items in the game, you click on your right mouse, where are the items? Ah, this took me longer than it should have to figure out as well. Um, tab, hit the tab button on your keyboard and that will access the store. Over here is where your doors are. I'm going to select an interior door, uh, exterior door. And if you played career mode, 
you'll notice that you can um, do all kinds of customizations, but if you've never done that before, this is where you would do that. Um, I think that I would like to maybe make this black. So you just click on all these things and change it to black. And you can do the door handles in a slightly different color so that they pop out a little bit more. You can purchase it. And then one of the things over here, um, you're dragging it around with your mouse right now. In the bottom right hand corner, you can do snap to grid or you can do um, R and do more of a precise placement. Now for doors and windows, it's a little more finicky. Um, once you get it in there, there you go. Uh, a really cool feature that I learned recently was you can use the windows that are provided for you in the game. Um, there's absolutely no problem with that at all. However, uh, something that I saw someone else using in, you know, especially for a modern home style structure, they've got these glass walls and glass ceiling tiles. This way you can make a window any shape or size you want. Well, I say any shape. <laughs> but at least any size. Um, we're gonna put that over here. Whoa, it's a little too big to start with. So let's go over to this wall real fast. Do you remember how we resized things before with the transform tool? Well, you're gonna do that again. Make sure that uh, the tool says resize down here in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. To change that, just hit Q and you can obviously pick as you need. Click on the window. I'm gonna make it skinnier. Okay, now that it's the proper size that we need to match with the door, I'm gonna grab my hand tool and bring it over here to the front so we can get everything sized precisely. Transform tool, let's drag that bad boy up. and down as you need. All right, so, so notice that there's some strangeness happening here. I would say grab your move tool and then come over here and just start dragging it until it acts properly, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Um, and then there you go. Now it's inset in the wall and next to the door exactly how you would like it. If you want to duplicate this so you don't have to go through all of that again, just hit the letter Q. It'll duplicate the item and you can drag it over here and place it down on the other side. And there you go. Doors and windows. All right, let's put a little porch on the, on the um, front of this. You're going to do the same thing with the build walls tool. You're going to come up here and you're going to select and just pull it out a few feet or however big you want it to be. And there you go. Now you have kind of a, a walk, something to step on, a little platform, a deck. However, you can also double this up uh, if you were building higher. Um, but this is just for basic, basic needs. So we've got this standard brick look. How do we change that? Okay, well, it's just like in um, career mode. You're going to get your little paintbrush out and it's your surface changer. You're going to hit the letter Q. And right now it's on the brick. Um, you can select whatever like seems really neat to you. Say you want to do cobblestones for the porch. Um, you can select the cobblestones. You can change the size. If you look over there on the left hand side of the screen, um, you drag it. It makes the cobblestones a little bigger. Maybe you want them to be smaller. Let's let's just test this out and see what it looks like. So again, you've got the little blue square. You're gonna start in one corner, you're gonna drag, and then you're going to left click. Pretty cool, huh? To undo, you just do uh, Y, I'm sorry, Z. Um, let's go for something maybe more like wood. So you come up here and you click on the wood tab. Um, I really kind of like this high gloss wood color. Then here, right now, it just looks like a slab of wood. Let's make it look a little bit more deck-like and click that like pattern that's like more for a patio. You can rotate it. I'm gonna leave it horizontal and then we're going to make it a little larger. 
And I think number two sounds good. So now we're going to apply that by left clicking and dragging and then left clicking again. Now, look at this little lip. How do we do that? Same way. Just left click, drag and left click again. And you get this really nice edge to your uh, porch. All right, the same principle applies for the rest of the house. Let's hit Q. Um, I think we could do... I do like the idea of the wood. I'm liking the wood. Let's stick with that. But maybe we do a different kind of style here. And see what that gets us. Again, left click and then just drag across the front. Looking pretty snazzy. Um, you'll want to get the window casements and the door casements too. Um, so just the same principle, left click, drag, and then left click again. And you'll get all of your surfaces covered in the um, siding that you're wanting. All right. And then you would just repeat that process all the way around. All right, now that we've done the house, let's do the roof. Um, we can do, I believe it is, you're gonna change the roof tiles here. We selected earlier, they're white. So you'll come in over here and you're going to click on this to change the color. Let's just do something simple like black. And there you go. Right here, you're going to want to click on your little paint roller tool again, and then we're going to click on the paint. We're gonna click on the color black, and then you're just going to left click once. Well, that is how easy it is for the roof. But don't forget the eaves, so you gotta come down here and click on that as well. Painting the inside is the same principle. You're just going to use your uh, paint roller tool and select a color that you would like. We're gonna go with white and then you're going to just left click and drag and repeat that process all the way around. Flooring is the same thing. You use your paint roller tool, you go into Q, go into material and let's do, let's do something like a concrete in a square pattern. Let's make that size a little bigger and we're going to drag and drop. And there you have it. You've got a floor and walls all painted and ready to go. Decorating in sandbox mode is much like career mode. You hit tab and then you can go into the store and get whatever it is that you are in need of. And I think we need to do a desk and maybe some seating. Um, let's do that. You can customize again. You've got so many options. Um, we could do the wood. We could do something like this. The base. There you go. You use the click wheel to rotate and place items however you like. You can do this over and over again, accessing the store, clicking on whatever item you want and uh, you know, setting them down however you wanna lay out your room. Perhaps you wanna add some sort of architectural element because it's looking a little plain and there are um, crown moldings and things in the game. But one of the simplest ways is to just access your build walls tool, click in a corner or wherever you're wanting to kind of add something and uh, drag it up. And there you go. And then I like to make like call back to the outside. So I come over here with my paint roller and then do R to copy the surface style and then drag and left click. And there you've got some beams or columns in each corner so that you kind of give a little bit more, there's a little bit more depth to the room rather than just a bunch of flat walls. I wanted to add some shelving behind this uh, couch, but some, the shelving in the game is a little, leaves a little something to be desired. Um, so here, what we're gonna do is we're going to, we're gonna, we're gonna make two. And then we're gonna go into our transform tool. And we're going to get the letter Q and use the fishing rod. I'm gonna say no to using gravity and yes to centering the target 
we'll see what that does for us. And then we're gonna make this shelf look a lot thicker by um, kind of basically clipping them together. And you gotta get in just the right spot. There we go. You use the click wheel to change the distance and I'm trying to make them look like the one thicker um, shelf. And it would help me if I clicked on the right tool. <laughs> this takes some finagling, I'm not gonna lie. It is a little fiddly. Um, so you just have to sit and play with it until you get it how you would like it. Um, and then you can Extend it and click on the other one and do the same thing. And let's see where we're at with that. All right, so see, now that's a much thicker bore than that really thin one, and it can give you a, a, a better appearance. I've also seen people use the build tool with the bricks and just uh, build a little sh slab, a little shelf, and refinish it with a wood finish or a painted finish, and it'll give you the same kind of ideal, um, and you're using the items that are in the game, but you're transforming them a little bit to make them more. Maybe you want to give some mood lighting. Uh, one of the things I've seen uh, utilized is to go into the lamps and do the ceiling ones and grab one of these pot lights, or that's what I'm calling them anyway. Um, and then I'm gonna match the wood. You can change the temperature and the brightness, but I'm gonna leave it there. And then we're going to, we're gonna place it underneath this shelf. And let's turn it on. And there you've got this nice lighting underneath. It would actually probably look better if we utilized the um, transform tool and did the fishing rod um, and clipped it into uh, the shelf. And there you go. This is the entire room decorated. Uh, you got a little uh, some architectural columns in the corners. Um, something simple, not too, cra not too crazy. Um, obviously this is my style and aesthetic. You should do whatever you enjoy and what you like. Um, so let's move on to something else I've seen that I wanted to show you guys. So you have lots of lamp choices um, in the game. I say lot. You have some. Um, but you could you could do something like this, which is perfectly adequate. Um, actually, let's make that black. Let's make that this. I'm sorry. Brush chrome. No bulb socket that all looks good let's go with that you could do that no problem looks just fine um it probably would look better if i had um made it all black uh we don't need the socket but that's fine oops we're going to copy the style, Q. We're going to go over here to this one, and we're just going to paste it. All right, perfectly, perfectly lovely. Nothing wrong with that. Let me move this over just a bit. Uh, you could do that and be completely okay. Or you could do something else I've seen that I think looks really cool, and that is they've taken the build tool and clicked on... Uh, built out one time. Oh, well, I didn't do that just now. But we'll just take that away. <laughs> and then they have, like... I believe I saw that one. They kind of match the color of the... Like, the trim work. So let's just do something black. You could do, like, a chrome black. We're just going to do this flat black for now and paint each of the sides. 
And you can kind of make your own like light fixture here by doing this and then taking those lights from earlier. Um, these, let's match, match them up a little bit. I'm going to leave the color temperature and everything the same. Let's go down here and place it under, oops. Well, just pretend for just a second. <laughs> All right. So now you can kind of see you've got this cool thing happening here. Um, you don't get a lot of differentiation between the two. So let's try, let's make this like chrome. Sandblasted steel. How about that? Uh, not exactly changing the color, is it? What if we went with a slightly different color? Maybe something a little more silver. Oh, I'm sorry. That was the wrong thing. <laughs> I am trying to access my paint roller. There we go. Maybe we do something that's a slightly lighter color. I wonder why it's rendering black. Or you can do something more like a, a gray you really want it to show up and be a little bit of a different color to give you some contrast. So there you have your own homemade light versus something like that. Uh, and you know, every it's, it's endless in terms of what you can do. It's really only your imagination. There are uh, other accessories like fencing, um, glass walls, like half walls. You could put in steps if you'd like. Um, but this is just to show a very basic, um, a very basic structure that you can build in this game. I would recommend that if you're getting started, start small, start simple, do something like this to practice and get really used to the controls. That's going to make all the difference. I spent hours getting used to the controls and, and made this a little, this process a little easier. I'm still learning. There's still a lot for me to, to unpack and get to know. There's quite a few tools here that I have never even used. And these I assume are part of the, another part of the game that I have not done yet. You can edit the grass by cutting it, all these different tools, uh, adding in and making a junkie, you know, like a junkie house. Um, you can take a photo, which is really cool. And it does, I think, take the HUD off. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it for this tutorial. Definitely something to keep in mind. I hope it gives you a little bit more ease in using the controls and how to do things. Um, cause there has not really been something that I have found that's just been laying it out there, uh, that easily. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys build something. You should definitely show me whatever creations you end up making. And, um, I hope that this makes it a little easier for you and eliminates a little bit uh, of frustration along the way. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, as always, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and I will see you in the next one.